Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading now. Um, it's for November 4th through the 11th. I chose this deck because I was trying to choose a deck for your reading, and I and I cut it, and I cut it to the Emperor. So I was like, oh well, that you know, when you cut it to the Emperor for an Aries reading, it's it's clear cut. That this is the deck I'm supposed to use. It's about taking back control, right? That's what the emperor does. The emperor takes control, takes the lead, all right, dominates the situation. And so there we are. Here we are with your deck. Anyway, so I just cut it again to the seven of wands. Um, you may need to defend yourself. You may, you may be feeling defensive at this time, right? Maybe you need to defend yourself. Who knows? Maybe you just need to stand your ground. Mm. This is freedom, liberation. The end of a difficult time. You are probably slowly heading in a new direction. Ooh. You may be dealing with a water sign female that or you are or the woman in this dynamic is feeling overly emotional at this time maybe you are not able to master your emotions very well you may, or you're dealing with a woman who can't master hers okay if you're a man we have a, we have a female that isn't handling things very well emotionally Mmm, judgment. Lack of awareness. Lack of truth. You could be dealing with somebody who's not telling you the truth. <laughs> they may, I mean, this person may see themselves as a victim and use that to their benefit. You know, they're playing the victim. You got, there's a woman here that is, whatever, you know, using her emotions as a ploy to get sympathy. I'm sorry. That's what this is, you know. I need some sympathy at this time. Self-loathing. So lack of there. That's what's going. Somebody. We have a woman here that is is loathing over her hurts. You know, whether it's you or another woman in your life. Oh my goodness! So here you are. Okay. For for well, if you're a man, you could be dealing with two women. Maybe you have two opportunities, two directions you could go. You know, perhaps you have a choice between a water sign and a, and a fire sign if you're a man. If you're a woman, you're, you're, it seems to me like you've probably lost some of your ambition. You've lost some of your drive. You've lost some of your charisma. Maybe you can't really see the visions of the future at this time. Maybe you're not really envisioning the future like you should be. You've lost your drive. Letting your emotions get the best of you. Yeah, you need to find strength and courage and confidence. You need to find that force within you to pick yourself back up. To take the lead. Even if you have to take baby steps. You may have received some, a message from somebody that overstepped their boundaries. You know, that overstepped your boundaries. Or you could have somebody that's stalking you or watching you or just bringing you down. It's like you have an immature person. You have somebody around you that... is making you upset 
And by what they're saying, it's like... Oh my God. They, they like to cause trouble. You're dealing with a troublemaker by the looks of things. Um, oh, and you do need to stand your ground. Imagine that, Aries. You need to stand your ground. Look at, you need to find that passion that's been lost. And it's, and it's for a man or a woman, because we have a man here needing to stand his ground. You need to stand your ground. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to find the courage and the self-esteem and the self-respect to not let other people hold you back. Because there is another person here that is kind of like weighing you down. They're holding you back. And, <laughs> and that's like not love, I'm sorry. I mean, there's no love in this situation. It's like, I'm sorry, there's not. I mean, I can't pretend that there is. It's like the pl there's no playfulness. There's no more fun. It's like the dream has died. Um, there's a lack of emotional content, a lack of emotional support. It's like, um, there's an emotional blockage here. I'm not getting, I'm not feeling loved. I'm not, this isn't love. It's not emotionally fulfilling, whatever it is. It's like the love has died. And whoever it is that you're dealing with is, maybe that person isn't even aware that the love has died. Maybe it's, you know, maybe they're not. Or this person doesn't even care if the love has died. You know, we have somebody here who... Just, you know, it's like the Queen of Cups is very codependent. You know, I don't really want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I need. She needs. She needs. Especially in reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse is very needy. You're dealing with a needy individual who is holding you back. They've brought you down. Now, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But wherever you're at, there's a lack of appreciation and there's a lack of mutual respect. It's like there's no togetherness here anymore. Nobody even wants to work together. And there we go. We have a couple. This is, we have a couple here. Don't matter what their signs are. But neither people in this dynamic are happy. Okay? The man and the woman in this coupling, neither one of them are happy. Both of them have lost their passion for each other. It looks like both of them have fallen out of love. But, I mean, with that page of swords reversed, it's like, there's, there's, n nobody is respecting each other's boundaries at all. They don't care. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't care. You know, it's like they're, they're what, they don't care about your privacy. That's what I was trying to say. This person is really, really, really stalking you. I mean, to the point where they're, they're trying to figure out where your money is going. They're try, they are. They're trying to figure out where, where you've got your money invested. They're trying to 
figure out where you are as far as how far they can push you, you know, how far that they can overstep their bounds. They are trying to, so they're, they're going to extremes and I don't even need the temperance card reversed to see that you've got a person here that is totally, I think, overstepping their boundaries and doing stuff that you may not even be aware of. Okay. We, that's what I'm trying to say. This person does, it's not, it's not love. They, it's like they don't, they don't care if they hurt, who they hurt in this situation because they see themselves as a victim. You're dealing with somebody who sees themselves as a, vic as a victim and they may, what the hell is this? You're going you're gonna to walk away and head down a new path towards happiness anyway. But that's not what I'm talking about. You're de This person, you're dealing with a person that is not. They're invading your privacy. This person is invading your privacy. You may not be aware of it, but they're, they're overstepping their boundaries. And it, I think it has something to do with money. And you're going to need to stand your ground and put your foot down and say, you know what? I'm, this is my shit, not yours. Whatever this means. That's a message I'm hearing. And it's not about the cards at this point. I keep hearing the message that somebody is overstepping their bounds and they're checking into stuff that they shouldn't be checking into. It's none of their business. It's because they're greedy. You're dealing with a greedy individual who is invading your privacy, Aries. You know, they could be trying to hack into your computer, hack into your bank account, something like that. Anyway, I see that you guys have an opportunity to go down a new path. You're at this crossroads and it looks like you're going to head towards happiness. You're going to head towards happiness and content, which is good. You have to make that decision to do so. And it looks like you're looking, you're not looking back, back here. You're looking forward, you know, you're not, you are, you're looking to beyond. Okay. You're looking on the horizon. So it looks to me like you are about to go. You're about to go. You're about to, you know, fly into happiness. Okay. So I feel like. You are going to leave something behind. I do. I think you're going to decide to fly and leave something behind. Because whoever that you're dealing with, they've, they've like totally, totally brought you down. They have. They've made you lose your focus. They've made you lose your concentration. They've, they've caused you to uh, lose your discipline in yourself. It's like you, you've just lost control. Because of this person that is, plays the victim all the time and you fell for it. Looks like you guys are headed in a new direction towards happiness. But you've been in a really unhappy situation, haven't you? Some place where there's nothing to celebrate. Where there's, there's been like, you haven't been receiving much, have you? Whoever you're dealing with has probably been giving their time and energy to other people and not you. You know, you have these two threes right here. I'm wondering if this person is engaged with another person. Okay, so, you know, I don't know, but I think that you are about to, to head out. It looks like you're about to head out and fly away from deception. Somebody's, the truth is going to come out. I'm telling you why. Somebody's going to get caught. Maybe you already caught them, and that's why you're, you're trying to make your decision to go. You may have caught somebody deceiving you, Aries. 
Maybe you caught somebody cheating. I mean, I can't. I mean, I hate to say that shit. And people can cheat in many different ways. They can cheat you out of love. They can have sex with another person. Or they can cheat you out of money. Somebody has cheated you and I think that they are about to get caught or they have gotten caught. And this is getting robbed. So you're going to have to defend yourself. Don't be scared because you're going to come out on top. You are. You're See, you're going to be on top. You're going to be on top. You defend yourself. You will be on top. And it's when, it, when you do... This was right here. It's going to lead to happiness and content. And it will give you reason to celebrate. You've been in a situation where there is no reason to celebrate. And there's going to be a reason to celebrate once you fly away. Once you make that decision to cross that bridge or to sail down that or fly, go. It looks like you guys are letting something go. You are. It's like this is an opportunity. This opportunity, I will chalk it up to a loss. This isn't anything that I can take to the bank. And I don't need to be in a one-sided situation anymore. So you guys have been in a one-sided situation with somebody that didn't reciprocate and it's caused a loss in money. It's caused a loss in stability, a loss of focus, a loss of concentration. I'm just going back where we are at. But whoever it is, it's about money. This person, for a lot, it's about money. This person was using you for financial reasons. And it looks as though you guys are probably going to end up rejecting this, rejecting this person. Because there's no more happiness here. You, you're probably dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm not, I don't know for sure. But this isn't love, and it's like there's no more ro ro relationship. I was going to say ro ro romance. There's no more relationship growth here. It was fake. It was false. It was based on money, by the looks of things. And now this person has has gotten all that they can get. They don't care who they hurt. They may not be aware that you know. That you know what they're up to. Just saying. Somebody's asleep. But whatever this is, this is this is a false romance. It's a false false situation where it's not what you deserve that's for damn sure it's not what you deserve it's one sided you are involved in a one sided situation with an individual who is fake as hell and you this is an opportunity that you cannot take to the bank and there's probably other people involved as well and i think that you are about to pay take some steps in a new direction and when you do you are going to find happiness this is freedom. You're about to break free from this POS by the looks of things. Because you're going to stand up for yourself. So is there is there new love? Well, there's new happiness. Is there new love coming in for Aries this week? Is there new love coming in? Now, this could be a gathering. Maybe you go out and meet somebody new. I don't know. This is some sort of uh, event, perhaps. But this is something that leads to a lot of happiness. It's like a, it's like a, if you look at this, you know, this is the four of wands, but I'm going by what I hear and what I see. 
It's like this is a meeting that happens that is beautiful. There's a beautiful coming together after you stand up and you move in a new direction. It's where two people run into each other and have a have a connection beyond no other. I mean, it could even lead to, I mean, maybe this is even a soulmate connection. Because look at them. I mean, they're totally in love with each other. This is where you're going after you break free, okay? Because the completion happens first. You take steps in that new direction. You stand up for yourself and you have this... perfect match that basically comes to the rescue that looks like a hero almost oh boy yeah it's a rebirth yeah and like I said something has to happen first you know when you get to this empress to, you have to give birth to give birth you have to go through pain and like I said some, there's some sort of pain that you go through that brings you this miracle son of a gun you get a miracle birth is a miracle so Aries I think that you're gonna probably experience some pain you may not be aware of what it is you may not be okay but you may you may be aware you may or not may or may not be you're about to go through some sort of pain but in the end it's going to bring you that miracle that we've talked about. You're the ones that are going to get the miracle. You've been in a situation that had no stability, had no security, and had no love, okay? It hadn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, I'm sorry. It wasn't, okay? It's, I'm sorry, I am. And you deserve it with that Six of Pentacles reverse. You deserve it. So it's time for you to fly, wake up, deal with the pain, release the pain, and here comes your miracle. So I feel like this is a week of, of freedom and liberation. After you feel that pain, it takes a little bit of time to heal. Trust me, it does. It really does. I mean, you can't, I mean, it does. I mean, you can't even go, you can't even, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So anyway, uh, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to have that birth, okay? You're going to free yourself. You're going to have that birth. You're going to feel that pain. Then it's going to take a few weeks to heal. Maybe four weeks. In four weeks from the time that you fly, well, you're, while you're in that period of healing and limbo, this will be headed in your direction. The miracle will be growing. So Aries, I feel as though you have an opportunity that is coming to you because you stand up for yourself and remove yourself from a situation that isn't love. If you are single, you could go to some sort of gathering and run into your perfect match because you've dealt with the pain. You have. There's been some pain. So be prepared for love to come if you're single. If you're coupled, it looks like there's some secrets that somebody is hiding and they are probably going to come out. Let's get a couple of these. We have a we have a we have a birth here, a birth of we do a new beginning, a new life. I mean, the Empress gives birth to a new life. So you you have happiness and new beginnings coming for you. But you have to do something first. And that involves 
defending yourself and, you know, sticking up for yourself and standing your ground. You're going to put somebody in their spot by the looks of things. And you're going to walk away. You're going to fly away. You're going to fly away. Oh, yes. I can't, you know, they, it's, it is what it is, right? We just, I mean, come on now. Separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. Yes, it is. It is. If you're single and you've been single, you need to separate emotionally. For real. Your love life is being affected by children. This is definitely a factor for many, even if you are an older person and there's children in the mix. There's, there could definitely be some children, maybe three children. I don't know. Could be two children. Whatever. Maybe this goes all the way back to your childhood. Either way, children are part of this issue. Anyhow, Aries, we have you going in a new direction and letting go of an opportunity that really isn't an opportunity at all. And happiness showing up in your life within three to four months. Extreme happiness. You deserve it. We talked about that too, didn't we? Time to go. Talk to you next week.